Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, I got the Vermilion City Gym Badge, and in this part, I'm going to continue on to this new route. And I guess i got to face a new trainer. Now, Funky Monkey has been my primary source of attack. However, having a single Pokemon to fight with, not exactly the best strategy, because, well, it's kind of obvious. Uh, I'm... Well, actually, it's a, a number of things, actually. Because of this, I have exactly one form of attack, which is physical attacking. I have a very shallow move pool, essentially being limited to fighting type and normal type attacks. And... Yeah, th I think that's kind of it, really. And plus, I don't have much of a tank. The only other Pokemon I have is really just for the sake of being able to... Use HMs. Now, hopefully, it's in this part where that will all change. Because my plans are starting to come together. Or they're going to fall apart within the very immediate spec. Between, uh, in a very immediate time frame. Funky Monkey has finally hit level 34. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. I was going to say, I was just like, he's going to learn Cross Chop. And now I realized, oh, wait, no, that's level 35. Anyway, he got poisoned during that battle, so looks like we should. Uh, heal ourselves, and let's move on. Ah, jeez. It's another one of these. We're in a situation where it looks like there's a grueling gauntlet afoot. And I have to try my best to not have to take it. Which is a weird, rather strange thing for me to be able, for me to want to under, to avoid undertaking, considering it's basically going to get me more levels. But an issue that is coming up is that Funky Monkey is completely destroying these guys. My bugs! Yeah. The thing is, like, there's not really such a thing as a really good bug-type Pokemon until about fifth... About re Okay, well, I guess, uh, Heracross would count as a pretty good bug Pokemon. But it's not really all that viable. Like, it's not, like, a destroyer of worlds. Even though I do quite like... Uh, anyway, if your Pokedex has, com has uh, completed that on 20 speeds, then it's supposed to give you a reward. It's an Everstone. I think I have. I, oh, wow. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go through the grass. Even though an Everstone is not really that useful to me, what an Everstone does is if my Pokemon holds it, it will stop them from evolving. It's essentially just a way of making it so that you just don't have to constantly hammer B. You can also do it for some troll moves, which is, uh, which are such as uh, if you trade away a Pokemon that evolves only via trading, what you can actually do is have it hold an Everstone and it won't evolve in that case. In case you want to be the trolliest of trolls. Wow, it took me a while to find one of these guys. A Voltorb. Oh, shit! Damn it. Crap. I was supposed to try to catch it. I should have used Seismic Toss. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, let's hope... I know they do have very little health, but hopefully this won't just outright kill them. Alright, sweet. I find it strange that as a special attacker he uses uh, Screech. Since he doesn't really have that many physical attacks. Anyway. These Pokeballs. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Oh! I guess he does have... Well, I guess he'll use physical attacks, it's just not his forte. It won't be great. Got Voltorb. So now we can get that Everstone. 
A life form whose identity is unknown. Well, I don't really know if Pokemon have identities. Ooh, interesting number. 100. It is said to screech or suddenly explode. I know it screeches. Because it just used it on me. I don't know if there are more Pokemon there. I may eventually check back. Anyway, so that's this guy. I've been looking for you. I'll also give you an Everstone. Yes. Here you go. Can add to a Pokedex. However, at times you may not want a Pokemon to evolve. Everstone in that case. It will prevent evolution. Now, for the sake of just increasing my total uh, number of... Oh, what the hell? Uh, just for the sake of increasing my total number of caught Pokemon, I'm actually going to use this Moonstone on this Clefairy. Actually, come to think of it, I've all... I've Oh, crap. I forgot to catch Jigglypuff on Route 3. Crap. So that's actually a few Pokemon I missed. And actually, now I think about it, I also haven't caught a Nidoran male or female. I thought I did, but it turns out I didn't. Well, butts. Anyway. Now I get... Why did I run right into her? Okay, well now... I'm gonna go in the rock tunnel. Picnicker Heidi. And this will be a clean sweep, just like the rest of the battles so far have been. Oh, after all my training. Well, that's what happens when you go to the gym and lose. <laughs> Not that kind of gym. Anyway. Go into rock tunnel. Dominion mode. Anyway. To help with this, use the flash TM on Paris, who can somehow use it. Alright. So it's full extension now. For some reason I was expecting it to just be a bigger circle, but I think that's something else entirely. Pokemon fight. Ready, go. I think I'm thinking of uh when I said that I was actually thinking of Dragon of the Game Boy version of Dragon Quest where it's like where you have like a torch item that increases your field of view by like 2 inches or no by like 3 or 4 extra human units. Game over, man. Alright. Oh well, I'll get a Zubat as I go. Well, at least that's a good attitude to have. Oh dear. Okay, now Rock Tunnel would normally be a very, very scary place to go. Oh, I can't- I don't have Rock Smash yet, I just realized. Because uh, those are actually smashable rocks, but you need an actual move called Rock Smash. And that's an HM that I cannot remember where you get in this game. I know you get it around the time of the seventh gym. No, you get it on uh, one of the extended islands. All right. If say so we're in a mandatory battle, I draw illusions of Pokemon when I get home. Illustrations of Pokemon when I get home. Illusion. That would be amazing if he could draw illusions. It'd be fantastic, actually. Anyway, sends out a slow poke. These things wa seem to almost seem like a direct counter to my Funky Monkey because. They have really good typing against it, really good defense, and pretty solid special attack to the point where uh, they can just kind of hit my slowpoke or my my funky monkey, not to kill them, but enough to just make sure they're gonna. Th this is gonna this pain's gonna last. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I probably should have used I should be using seismic toss now. That I think about it. Anyway, Winston's exhausted, so apparently he has no energy to draw. Anyway, let's go over. Let's go to the left here and see what's... Ah! See what this item's here. One revive. I think I've already used one. I used one, I think, in the Misty battle. It's actually really embarrassing now that I think about it, that I even lost even one time as Primate when he was at that level. Ah, man. But that was a... a, a like... Any defensive psychic types tend to be walls to Primeape here. Oh god. Crap. I don't- I uh, no, I do have Paralyzed Heal, but this is gonna make the rest of this battle really annoying. I don't wanna- Ooh, this is actually a good strategy. If he has like really crap uh, evasive moves. 
But this also means that I can't really heal my Pokemon's paralysis because the entire reason you may want to heal it is, okay, I'm not going to get hit again with another status effect move because it's crap. Oh, yes! Cross Chop. Yes! So this is where I'm going to get rid of Karate Chop because, yeah, 80%. Okay, well, another 80% move, but another high crit ratio and twice damaging. And twice as damaging. Crazy. But now I, I'm plagued with accuracy problems. <laughs> oh, this is going to get really frustrating really, really fast. Alright, but anyway, I'm going to just continue to use Seismic Toss. But the reason I said that Sweet Scent was actually a smart move was because if Bulbasaur, for example, wanted to use Sleep Powder, for example. Sleep Powder has like a 50... Actually, I think it's like 75% chance of actually working. But with an opponent that's Sweet Scented, it's closer to something like... 82.5%, I think? But anyway, thankfully she lost. So now I can heal up my Funky Monkey. With... Uh... Paralyze Heal. All right. So believe it or not, that that move I just learned, Cross Chop, is actually the final move I'm ever interested in actually adding to Funky Monkey's arsenal, as the rest are Move Tutor and TM moves. I just get, oh shit! I just realized Cross Chop has really low PP. So this might be a bad idea to have had to have chosen to add it when I'm uh. When I am pretty much relying on Funky Monkey to do all my fighting. Okay, guess I gotta face this guy. Hit me with your best shot! Wait, is this the guy who's, who ends his sentence with fire away? I think it is, actually. Alright. It's time to seek and destroy. Oh, so he's got the same plan. Let's see if, uh, who whose plan wins out. Well, I actually hit, so it should just destroy him. Yep. Well. All right. If he had it, I actually would have given... Would have preferred giving Funky Monkey uh, a different move called Close Combat. But, as far as I know, Primeape can't learn that move. At, at least not, like, normally. I think he can learn it via, like, what, what breeding. But, I don't want to go to that much effort for this sort of run. Anyway. I can't remember that guy's a, if that guy's a battle or a tutor. I'm going to assume a battle. Whoa! I didn't actually know there were Mankeys in here. Sorry, bro, but you're not funky enough to join my team. Anyway, hopefully I can get past this guy. I did not. Maybe I'm lost in here. Oh, I forgot to check the previous battle if he ended it with fire away. Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Oh. If this misses, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I had to say it. Oh dear, and I can't switch out now. Oh damn it, he's gonna do continuous damage too. It's like 10%. Crap. Uh, I should be able to beat him in two hits with Seismic Toss. Alright, Rock Throw I think only did six. Oh wow, even less than that. But this is gonna get really, na really nasty. Ah jeez. So I only have two attacks, one of which has goes from like low 36 to upper 90, and a bunch of rock type Pokemon. Ah, uh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna have to heal him and then uh, PP restore. Okay. Mudsport. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't hit me with Magnitude. I remember at this time that Magnitude seemed to be like Geodude and Graveler's best move before they get Earthquake. Alright. 
I'm gonna have to get PP up. If I can find it. Kind of a rare uh, item to get. Alright. As much as I like using focus energy so far, I really do wish I had Hone Claws on this guy. Oh dear, he did use Magnitude. Although I'm fairly certain Primate can't actually learn Hone Claws because he doesn't have claws. But then again, he can learn Iron Tail without a tail. So, you know what that means? It means he can do whatever the hell he wants. Alright. Onyx. Down in one hit. Ooh, a crit, too. Alright. Hiker Oliver, ease up. What am I doing? Which way is out? Hey there, this guy's lost. Why did we... Why did he... Wait, why did you challenge us to a Pokemon battle, then? Dang it! Found an escape rope, which is always handy. Alright, try to avoid this guy. Put my guy up here. And I'm out. Okay. I'm sort of nearing, sort of nearing the end here. Yeah, this is a, an area I always had memories of just doing badly in this area because I got so lost in the original version because it's a bit easier here because it seems like the perspective is a little more zoomed out so you can see a bit more, but in the original Game Boy version, it was very easy to just get lost and lose track of where you've just been. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna be really, really disgusting. Oh, no. Wow. This is nasty. This is some grimy as hell tactics right here. Ooh. Alright. This funky monkey still managed to beat up the Pokemon he, he was in love with. So anyway. Should be able to take on any of these other guys. <sighs> Shit. Ooh, Payday. One of the weirder friggin' moves. If you just hit somebody with it, you get money. God damn it. Like, at first I remember when I first was, like saw it, I'm like, why wouldn't you use it all the time? But then I realized it's really not that much money. Unless you're just fighting random Pokemon and just, like, doing it for very minor, minor uh, financial gain. Oh, okay, so... I didn't gain any money. Either that, or it was just automatically added to the amount I gained. I can't remember whether this guy's a... Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure he's a tutor, so I'm going to just talk to him. When you're up, uh, up on a m rocky mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling on you? That'd be like, wah! Total terror. You don't seem scared. Want to use rock slide? Yes. Move can only learn once. Is that okay? I'll teach it actually to my primate. Alright. This seems kind of nuts, but I'm actually going to have it replace Focus Energy. Focus Energy has been kind of hit and miss in its usefulness. And Rock Slide gives me really good, ty uh, really good type uh, coverage. Although now it does... Ooh, wow! Okay. This is actually one of the Pokemon I wanted to find in here. And I'm really... Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, hopefully Rock Slide has enough of a, uh... Huh. Rock Slide is 90, though. Which means it'll get down to 45 when it gets dropped. But this one's probably gonna get dropped just as bad. Okay, I'm gonna try Fury Swipes to try to whittle him down. Yes, okay. Okay, so that was three. Uh, if that was, if that was 30, okay, I'm trying to do some quick math in my head here. So that was three hits. So that was 56 divided by two. That was 28. Okay, no, he wouldn't be able to survive a, uh, he wouldn't be able to survive, uh, ah, damn it. He wouldn't be able to survive 
another rock slide, but it would have meant that had I hit only rock slide, I would have been in a better situation. Can I get this? No, dang it. Jeez. This is, uh, this is kind of ruth. It's kind of nasty here. Um, seismic toss is really not a good idea. Because as far as I know, Onyx does not have a very high health stat, but he has a very, very, very high uh, defense stat. Ah, jeez. Yes! Alright, caught an Onyx. It's so weird. They put him in the same category as Diglett and Dictrio. Usually lives underground and searches for food while boring through the ground at 50 miles per hour. I'll give no nickname to Onyx. I may eventually go back to some of the trainers who give offers for trades because it is some of the uh, it is some of the the better ways of getting Pokemon that are a bit more rare. And plus, trade Pokemon have the added benefit that they learn gain experience at a higher rate. Whoa. Uh, okay. Jeez. So this guy wants to challenge me. Let's see how a good rock slide does against other rock Pokemon. Probably not very well. Still pretty decently. I'm surprised I didn't make him flinch. That would have been amazing. For some reason, like, very fluffy Pokemon always get, uh, like, very elect uh, electric type moves. Like, even ones you might not expect. Like, Persian, for example, can learn Thunderbolt. And yet, Funky Monkey can't learn, I don't believe can learn any electric moves. And I thought it would have been amazing if he could learn something like Wild Charge. Alright. Time to take these guys out with the power of Seismic Toss. Oh, wow. Okay, so first fully, or first uh, evolution of uh, Geodude, and he gets taken down with a cross chop. Yeah. Geodude line is not to be trifled with. Defense is actually very, very good. But, the you know what's not good? My PP. I probably should have phrased that better. Because, my Prime Ape is on nothing for Cross Chop. Ooh! A Machop! Pokemon I actually really contemplated using for this run. I Actually, I think I, I contemplated using Abra, Machop, Geodude. How do I always forget one? Uh, <laughs> Damn it, I can't remember the last one. Oh, man. Or Ghastly. Ghastly was the other one. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Is this going to end with me trying to catch him a chop when I'm 80% of the way through? Oh, wow. It might. Oh no, thankfully, he is dumb. So with the power of Pokemon stupidity, will I manage to catch this thing? Yes! Pokemon stupidity reigns all. Anyway. Come a chop. It can curl 100 grown-ups. I love how it says, uh, it, it uses just grown-ups as a catch-all term for adult weight. But then again, I guess it's for kids. You know. Okay, so... Oh dear. I really should have healed now that I think about it. <laughs> but thankfully, very few of the Pokemon in rocky areas are generally going to outspeed you or prevent you from leaving. The obvious exception being stuff that has, like, arena traps, such as Diglett. Uh, or, like, in other areas where they have... I think a different form of arena trap. It's not. It's, I don't think it's called arena trap. It's. It's what Gengar has, uh, or Mega Gengar has. Shadow tag, where you can't leave. Um, you know, such as uh, Wobbuffet, or actually some Gastly's, I believe. No Gastly's moves are all levitate. Anyway. So while my Funky Monkey is healed, he isn't. Doesn't have his pee-pee quite ready. So, gonna have to rock slide. Thankfully, rock slide is a pretty powerful move at 90% damage and 90% attack. Oh, wow. And this is what it's completely intended for, actually. Uh, 
the entire reason I chose to put Rock Slide on this guy instead of somebody else is because it, it complements him very well. And I, I knew I wanted to use uh, Primeape. And especially since uh, his best moves are fighting type attacks. But fighting type attacks also have the problem of somewhat bad type coverage in some regard. So the moves will get weakened. So now they won't. Anyway. That was weird. I saw like yellow lines come. Oh, I think it's like dust. Oh my god. I thought that was a professor aid. Am I seriously going to be sent back from this far away? Ah, oh, man. I don't actually know where to catch Cubones. <laughs> I'll be sure to try to find them, but it'll be tricky. I think Cubone and Marowak were Pokemon that I actually really wanted to use. Like, I wanted them to be good, but then it turned out they weren't very good. And then I looked on the competitive scene to see if they were any good there, and it turns out they were even worse. Like, when your best a bit, uh, attribute is that you have a, you have a dec a moves with moves with decent flinch ratios, it's not the best. It's not your best compliment except unless you're like Jirachi with that ridiculous ability he has where it's like okay turn a 30% crit or turn a 30% flinch ratio into a 60 gee oh me mackerel there's like oh and add on top of that thunder wave all right oh dear am I gonna get bodied by the whoa I lost to a slow poke Okay, let's see if any of the Pokemon I actually just got can be useful here. Alright. I'm actually going to Screech this guy just in, ca uh, just in case uh, my this Pokemon doesn't do a good job. Wow, okay. I guess I can probably take... Okay, he he'll take double damage. So now... Is it worth uh, Rock? Yeah, screw it. And as you can see, like, ah <laughs> oh, man, he didn't get that awesome crit. Wait, why is he doing attacks? Does he really not have? No, he just used confusion. Wait, uh, did he? Oh, why? I'm confused in so many ways. I'm trying to remember what happened during the battle with Funky Monkey. What's going on now? And now there is just severe confusion everywhere. Okay. So I think I you I, I use Screech once. Uh, let's hope that this does enough damage. Okay, sweet. Good job, Machop. Wow, didn't even get him one level. Oh no, my Pokemon. Oh no, my progress. You almost sent me back to the area around Rock Tunnel. Shame on you, sir. 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 Shame. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There is no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. So I take it that this is going to be a rebuttal for a section around here. Probably. Good job, Machop and Onyx. And for your valiant efforts, I'm going to put you back in the box.